It's another edition of Mark in the minivan, a driving edition. How are you? We are driving. <laughs> Rush hour traffic here, so uh, I got to kind of keep my eye on the road. But wanted to mention the Dead Daisies news, which has really seemed to rile people up. And I, listen, I get it. The Dead Daisies have been on my podcast numerous times. Um, actually, Emily did a lot of the interviews with them. And the thing about the Dead Daisies is they've had a lot of people in and out of the band. You understand? And, and they are kind of viewed... Now, I don't think this is any secret, but they're kind of viewed as the one guy, Lowley or whatever his name is, I forget I forget his name, but the one guy in the band is like this Australian billionaire. So the band has always had to kind of overcome that because they've been seen as this billionaire's hobby and he hires these rockers to be in the band. And I think because of that, that's actually hurt the band over the years. That and the fact that there's so many members in and out. But what we've seen with the Dead Daisies in recent years is that us fans have really started to like them. Um, and that is primarily because of the addition, the addition, in my opinion, of John Karabi, who was just killing it with the band. And I, for one, after always kind of discounting this band, in recent years really started to be like, hey man, they're, they're putting out some really good music. John Karabi is great. I've always loved this guy's voice. He has a, a, an emotional thing about his voice that you can just relate to. And I thought the momentum was moving with, with this band, that they were finally starting to feel like a band, not some billionaire's, you know, hobby that is is constantly changing up members and stuff. So I, I really thought they were headed in the right direction. I know I'm not the only one. I was really feeling excited by where they had been musically on the last couple records and where they were going to go. And lo and behold, you know, I guess they got a two for one deal or something because now they've announced that Karabi and uh, Mark are out of the band and I think this is an enormous mistake, uh, enormous mistake, because like I said, the momentum was going and they were really headed in the right direction. They had established a sound that was that is definitely no longer going to be there and they are definitely going to sound like a different band. And, and how do they even honor the past? I, I, I can't imagine Glenn Hughes singing these Karabi parts. I mean, it's going to be a very different sound to the band, which is unfortunate because they were on the right track. They've made a big mistake. Uh, it's back to kind of the joke band where it's just this billionaire guy uh, hiring people to be in the band. Um, he needed to stay the course with, with the lineup that he had, and he did not do that. They released one song, which... I don't know. Some people seem to like it. I think it's terrible. It sounds like a leftover track from the last Glenn Hughes record. It does not sound like the Dead Daisies. It has a very mediocre, boring guitar riff. Uh, the song itself, it's, it's like paint by numbers, like, you know, adult oriented, uh, boring old man rock. It, it, again, the fun of the Dead Daisies to me has left the building. The Dead Daisies are now officially dead. Uh, and I stole that from somebody else who wrote, <laughs> wrote that on Twitter. And I, I, li I like that. I thought that was good because I agree, man. Um, sad news for the Dead Daisies. Uh, I, for one, like a lot of you guys who have expressed the outrage on social media, will not be supporting this band anymore. They made a big mistake. And uh, the Dead Daisies are dead. Let's leave it at that. Don't support the Dead Daisies. Dead Daisies are over. John Karabi, we look forward to what you have in store.